All right, so I had a whole bunch of people ask me on different comments on my videos for Crazy Mike's apps about how do you record the videos that you use for the reviews? How do you get the white dot when you move your fingers around? That sort of thing. So to clarify all that, I wanted to do a review on the tweak that allows me to do this. It's called Display Recorder. Basically, it records my screen in real time and shows where my fingers move and where they tap while I'm doing that. There are a couple other related tweaks that do similar things, but the cool thing about this one is that it actually records in real time, so there's no delay, and in this case, I'm able to record and speak at the same time without having to worry about synchronization issues. It doesn't have an audio feature yet where it records both audio and the display, but it should be coming up soon according to what the developer has hinted at. So when you install it, it's going to show up as an icon on your springboard, and as you can see here on my springboard, it has it there, and the little red dot means that I'm recording, so that means that I'm recording this video at this point. There's some cool features I want to show you. If you just go to Settings, and scroll down, whoops, if you start from here, scroll down all the way until you find Display Recorder, tap on that. Here are some of the cool things that you can change in regards to Display Recorder. You can change the frame rates, you can change the rotation, you can change the video quality, grayscale, what to do when you tap, does it show a dot, how big is a dot, that sort of thing. Activation methods, there are different ways you can activate the display recorder from your actual screen. It requires a program called Activator, so if you want to try that, try that out, you should download it, it's free. And usually, if you were to turn it on without Activator installed and in use, then you have to go all the way to the app, tell it to start recording, and then you have to get out of the app to show your real screen. Well, with Activator, you can set Display Recorder to start recording what, if you, you know, swipe the status bar or tap the home page this many times or, or something like that, so that's kind of convenient. And then another cool feature is that you can sync it directly to YouTube from, from the app, which is really nice if you want to put it up right away so people can see. There are also a few other things that you can do with it that require your computer, so I'm going to shut this off really quick and then show you my computer screen and show you what other things you can do with it. So, one second. All right, so... I think the two coolest features that Display Recorder offers is the fact that you can download the video that you just took from your phone. So as you can see here, my IP address for my phone is typed in here, and then I can view the recording that I have, this one right here, on my phone, and then if I were to click on it, then it will ask me if I want to download it. So pretty cool. The other thing too is that you can also do live view as well. So if I do live view, for example, as you can see here, it shows that I'm on my phone and that I'm in the display recorder app. The IP address on the bottom, that's where you get the IP address to type into your browser when you want to download or do live feed. And what's really cool about this particular feature is that, as I mentioned, this app is a lot better quality than most, and everything is in real time. So even when I move through live view, everything's really, really smooth without not, be, not being really choppy, and to, its, to the best of its ability, it's doing exactly what I'm doing. So this is also kind of cool if you want to show someone something externally from your phone on your computer from anywhere as long as you're connected in the same Wi-Fi spot or whatever. So that is pretty dang cool. This tweak is available on Cydia for $4.99. It is a little more steep than the ones I have done before, but this one is clearly the best out of all its, comp all of the, of all its competitors, and I highly recommend it. It's great for when I do reviews. It's great to just do whatever. You can do live view. You can download it. You can upload it right to YouTube. So many features, and developer is looking forward to doing to doing a whole bunch of other stuff with it so that's awesome you know how to contact me see you guys later